Hey guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, we will model this hubcap. I have this image plane lined up. Uh, I just lined that up for the hubcap, so you don't have to worry about uh, where to place it. You can always delete it afterwards. And I also made these curves. So I uh, made a, a bunch of circles and lined these up. So one way to line up a shape that's not very symmetrical like this basically it, it doesn't have it's not radially symmetrical so if you make a cylinder i'm gonna hold v just snap it here i'm gonna just in space move it behind like that and then let's snap it to the center like that so now I want to line up uh, the divisions here so that they line up to these guys here as well as this one in the center. If we just take the subdivision axis, increase the number of subdivisions, you can see it's aligning from here. If you ever need to change where this is, just rotate uh, the cylinder. So if I increase the number here, and what I'm looking for is that uh, these are more or less the same. You can see we have even space here and here. So this is gonna work for us. That means we'll only have to build one. So that's good. Now I'm going to just take this, just move it back a little more. And then in here, I'm gonna select these curves. Like this in a row. And I'm gonna lock between them. I'm gonna go to polygons, hit apply, and then increase under NURBS tessellate, increase divisions like this. We'll actually set this to isoparm, set this to two like this. Then this one, we wanna set this to isoparm as well, and just to one. Now it's lining up. And I also place these so that uh, I get the proper uh, spacing here in depth. The curvature we'll do afterwards. It's not necessary right now. Okay, now we need to add some divisions across. So let's see. Put this many. And let's see how many we need. That is pretty good. And then we need a couple here. And maybe five here, maybe more. And six, like that. Okay, now we're ready to make one of these things here. And I don't wanna work on the whole thing, so I'm just gonna delete this much. We can hide this cylinder, we don't need it anymore. We need to look at this and figure out how many divisions uh, we can make on this curved shape and we have this one here and then this one but you can see how they're not even this one's uh, short this one's even shorter and this one's too long so what we need to do is we need to go from here and try and estimate where like try to split it in three you, get, you just have to eyeball this like that and then like this and then the same here so just eyeball splitting this curve in three like that. Then we can start from here, go this way, and then you want to go slightly further than the actual uh, where the curve intersects because when you subdivide, it's going to shrink a little bit. Like that. Delete the interior faces, don't need those. And then we're going to add just a little bevel here. We can then delete these two edges. Control delete. Select this and this. Control delete. And then just draw some connections here. So that looks pretty good. Now, what we can do is I'm going to take this and we need these faces here. 
like that. I'm gonna extract those. Right there. This one, just delete this. And this. Like that. Oops. And this we don't need either. I'm gonna move the pivot here to the center and clear history, freeze transformations. If I duplicate it, I can flip it to the other side. Just put negative one in Z. Select both of these, duplicate, and hold J. We can rotate, uh, keep holding J. Okay, so what's happening here is that it doesn't go in enough um, iterations. So we need actually 67.5, I think. Like that. Shift that one. And then same here, duplicate. And negative 67.5. Then shift D like that. Then we have this one. So this one, if I duplicate, Delete that. Make sure my pivot is in the center. I can just rotate it and place it here. 67.5. And then shift D, shift D, like that. Okay, that's all filled in. And then we can select all these pieces. them combine and then merge soften edge press 3 you can isolate it just to see what it looks like looks pretty good okay so now we need to create that curvature now I don't want to create the curvature on this shape because if I do it on this one uh, it's gonna be hard especially with these curved shapes here and with the, with the holes and we also need to create this as well this one we can do this. If I select uh, these edges here, I'm going to extrude them like that, and then press the circulize button. It's going to make a circle. And then if I make sure to keep spacing is on, snap it there. We can scale it slightly out, and then extrude like that. And then this edge will just move up like that. Now, let's see what the hubcap looks like. If I hide this, so it actually, there's a, a bevel here we need to add. So if we select this edge, when if I double click this edge, it doesn't go all the way through because of this loop here. So what we can do is click contiguous edges it's under uh, select contiguous edges it's going to let us select the whole thing and then i'm going to click bevel and if i take the fraction scale that down i'm going to turn chamfer off it's going to give me a bevel right in the middle there like that an edge in the middle i meant okay So if you ever want to get back the last tool you used, this little tool thing, you just press T, it'll come back. So I just want to keep the spacing here the same. I'm going to use, uh, set multiple to one. I'm going to put one here, one here, like that. And then take this edge, extrude, extrude. And put a bevel edge up here and here. Then this one, we can scale down. Hold shift, just gonna move it this way. Same with this one, just scale this down just to make, make it rounded. And not so rounded. There, looks good. 
Okay, so now we need to create this curvature here. And one way to do it is if we look at the shape here, we'll go from here to here, then from there to there. Okay, there we go. So we can move this back, use scale, and same with this one. So because we can't really see exactly what this curve needs to be, you can just kind of guess and kind of use your imagination what it should look like. I think something like this would work. So now let's center the pivot on, we need to make sure the pivot is centered here and then also in here. So completely in the center. And now we can use a revolve. So the, the axis that we need to revolve around is X axis because it's pointed here. You can see on the bottom left. So double click the revolve. The X is going to be X polygons. And we're going to go into uh, keep all the settings the same. And then we're going to do this one to apply. We can select both. Increase the number this way and this way. We're going to set this to 256. We need this to be really dense. Now we can combine, merge, select this and extrude like that and then this one i'm going to just select this double click that edge extrude like that okay so this is going to be the shape of the hubcap let's bring it back move it over now what we need to do is select all of the vertices here i'm going to grow the selection that and we need to deselect this so to grow selection it's shift period or shift comma to decrease it or it's also the carrot keys less than greater than okay so once the vertices are selected I'm going to shift select the geometry of the uh, shape that we made and then go to the form shrink wrap Set this to parallel to axis and along the X axis. Hit apply. And now we select this shape. So sometimes nothing will happen and that's perfectly fine. That's what we kind of want. But if we move the shape, it's going to grab the surface. You can see it's grabbing it and pushing it. And we want to get this past this shape here because I'm going to grab all of it. I can hi uh, clear history on that, hide this. And now if we select just these vertices, I can then hold DV, move the pivot there on the move tool, make sure keep spacing is on and I pre-select the direction, then zoom in here, then hold V, middle drag, it's going to snap right there. That looks good. And now, if we look in here, from this view, I'm going to select these faces, and then extrude them. Oops. Sorry. Close this. Extrude, then offset. That's fine. And then move this over like that. Now I need to add a bevel here. So just an edge loop here and here and on this side, but I can do it here because see what it's doing. So instead I'm going to select this edge, click contiguous edges, which is also under select contiguous edges and then do a bevel. And in the bevel, if you turn chamfer off, you get a hard bevel like this 
Now you can scale this up like that and double click this extra edge and control delete. And now we have a bevel there and it's gonna move over this for us. So now we have that hubcap shape that we want, these little ridges. And I'm gonna select all of these inside edges here. Just shift double click. Extrude that. And then extrude again and in the Z direction out like that. That way from this angle when you press three, it rounds in both directions, but we'll never see the side. So it's gonna just look like this. Okay. Now to preview our shape, I'm just gonna assign a blend, make it nice and shiny. See how smooth that looks. So it's very difficult to get these shapes, these edges, especially on diagonals, uh, to look rounded. So using uh, another shape and shrink wrapping it works really well. And that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, if you like what you see, please hit that like button. If you don't, hit the dislike button. And please uh, leave a comment and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time.